What is going on guys? Welcome back to the C++ tutorial series. In today's quick video, we're going to talk about constants. So let us get right into it. All right, so as the name already says, constants are constant and not variable. So we can go ahead and say const a equals 10. And then we can do everything with that value that we can do with a variable. Um, so we can see out it, we can uh, add it to different values. So we can say a plus 20 and print that we can also create a variable b and store the value of a in it and then see out the value of b and we can also of course change the value of b so we can say b equals b plus 50 and then we can see out b again and so on so we can do all of that uh what happened here a is not declared in the scope oh const int a sorry we need to specify the data type as well uh, as you can see this works so we need to say const this is just a keyword that says okay this is not a variable this is a constant uh, and then we specify the data type. If we don't specify const, it's going to be a variable like here. Um, but the one thing that we cannot do with a constant, obviously the name already tells us that, is we cannot change the value. So we cannot say a equals 80 all of a sudden. We cannot change the value because we're going to get the error assignment of read only variable. This is read only, we cannot do anything with it except for use it, we cannot change the value of it. We can also not increment it or uh, decrement it or do any other operation because again, we're getting uh, increment of read only variable doesn't work, we cannot change the value, it's immutable. So this is the basic idea behind a constant. Now one thing that you should know about constants is that the convention says that the name of a constant should always be uppercase. So in this case, I did it uh, not according to the convention, we have to say uppercase a, or uh, even if it's a word, even if it's my constant, it should be written like that. We should say my constant all in uppercase and not something like my constant or just my constant or something like my underlying constant. Uh, the convention says you can either do my constant like that or you can do my constant like that, doesn't really matter, but it has to be uppercase because that signals just by convention, not to the compiler or anything, just for the developers, this signals, okay, this is a constant. So this is a convention to keep in mind. Now let us briefly take a look at constant pointers because those are interesting. We can define two types of constant pointers or we can use the constant keyword in two different ways. So let's say we have again the variable a equals 10 and we wanna have a pointer to it and a is a variable, it's not a constant. Um, and what we wanna do is we wanna say, okay, we have a pointer P that points to the address of A. But now we wanna have this pointer uh, to be constant. And we can do this in two ways. First of all, we can say constant int pointer equals the address of A. Or we can say int pointer constant P equals the address of A. And let's rename them to pointer one and pointer two to see the difference. Um, the difference is between what is constant here. Now, a in and of itself is a variable, so we can always do something like a equals 20, for example. Um, but we cannot necessarily do that by dereferencing the pointers if they have a constant keyword. So in this case, what we're saying in the first pointer here in the first line is we're saying the pointer uh, or the object that we're pointing to has to be treated as a constant when we're using that pointer. So if we do something like dereference p1 and assign 20, this will not work because p1 is a pointer where we set constant int pointer. And this means that we cannot change the value that we're pointing to through this pointer. We can still change the address that we're pointing to. So we can still say something like, uh, I don't know, p1 equals, let's introduce a second variable here, int b equals 20. Uh, p1 is now pointing to the address of B. This works because this is not uh, where the constant keyword is placed. Now, if we look at the other pointer, we can do P2 equals 20. And we can also see that this is going to give us a result when we print A. STD end line. We're going to see that this works because here the constant keyword is after the pointer. So we say in pointer constant P2. This means that we cannot change the address that this pointer is pointing to, but we can change the value or we can manipulate the resource that we're pointing to. So in this case, if we do it like that, if we say int pointer const p2, we cannot change what we're pointing to, but we can change 
the value of that which we're pointing to. So we can do that. We cannot do this with P1. So we can see if I do P1 equals 20, this does not work. This is going to give us an error because this is what happens when we put the cons keyword first. However, we can still say this is now pointing to B, but we cannot do this with this one. So we cannot try to do the same thing for P2. We cannot say P2 is now pointing to B because P2 is a constant pointer of this sort where we cannot change what we're pointing to. And of course, if you want to do it hardcore, you can also say const int uh, pointer const p3. I hope that's the correct notation here. So this, let's see if it compiles. There you go. So if we do it like that, we can do neither of those two things. So we can uh, neither say p3 equals 20. And we can also not I mean, let's first try this one. Uh, this is going to give us an error. And we're also not going to be able uh, where's the error here. Uh, we're also not going to be able to let p3 point to b. As you can see here. So that's it for today's quick video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.